a Safaricom Hero, it's, it makes me feel so nice and uh, it was a surprise to me when I got that communication. I didn't expect it, uh, bearing in mind that I'm just one year old. It was a great honor to me and I'm so happy about it. I'm so humbled, in fact, uh, I don't know what I can say, but I just thank God for that because um, it's not an easy thing. The kind of work I was involved in when I joined, it's, uh, it was a complex work, bearing in mind that you're dealing with a government institution and the bureaucracy in government and the strict timelines that we are being given for the implementation of that project. It was asked to fit in within the timeline, so it called for a lot of uh, complexity in handling issues and trying to look for the simplest way to realize that timeline without delaying the rest of other processes that were to follow. I've uh, been championing diversity and inclusion. Actually, I collected the data and I wrote a report on what was used to introduce this diversity and inclusion in Safaricom. I've been doing a training for sign language, like now I've trained uh, like 200 guys, retail agents and uh, technology agents. As well, I've been um, interpreting in Safaricom big events, like uh, the Safaricom um, AGM. We have the, uh, the MPES Academy. motivation has gone high because this is something I didn't expect but I feel I need to work more because it's actually a challenge I need to maintain at top. It's one of the ways of motivating staffs in uh, making them be the best, uh, putting their foot forward in the best work they're doing just to ensure that we still stay ahead as the best company and delivering the best to our customers and our clients. I just really want to congratulate Janet and Julius for being our two latest Safaricom heroes. Um, you know, I'm really proud of the work that they've done. Julius, he started, uh, I think, f uh, he'd only been in the business for like four months, and then he picked up the uh, National Police Project and got it ready for the December launch. And all the work that he'd done, all the civil work he'd done, uh, really exemplified how you can do things with simplicity. And Janet, 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 Janet just waves her hands around. Uh, but I'm really pleased with the stuff that she's done because a little while ago we said, you know, we wanted to reach out to our customers who, uh, who had hearing difficulties. And we took some volunteers who would learn sign language. And Janet's now been doing it for about two years, I think. Not only has she done it and she's embraced it, but we now use Janet for AGMs. But it's not just that. What I really am proud of is that she's taken this on and she's trained lots of others together with the other signers in the, in the company can now reach out to our customers who otherwise just live in a, in a silent world where nobody talks to them. Really want to encourage you all, really embrace the three attributes of speed, simplicity and trust. Look at the work that Janet has done, look at the work that Julius has done, look at the work that Clemo has done. Because if we can get on top of speed, simplicity and trust, we really don't have to worry about competition uh, because we will be delivering to customers what it is they want us to deliver.